hello guys welcome back so in this video we are going to discuss about monkey patching so what is monkey patching this is very advanced and very interesting topic first i will tell you with the example in the end of the video i will explain what is monkey patching so let's assume there is a class let's say first and this class is having a init method let's say self and i don't want to do anything in the init method and uh, just i'm creating a method let's say printer and which will be useful to print masses now i will print this is printer method and your message is dot format so that i can pass the argument here so i think you know about format so if you are having any confusion you can watch my first series so here just i'm printing so you can see this is a very simple class which is having a printer method so let's create an object so obj equals first so this is constructor and just i'm creating this constructor and then just i'm calling the printer because printer is a regular method and here i will pass string let's say my message is hi and just i will run this program you can see it's a very simple program if you are having any doubt regarding object oriented programming you can watch my first series and there you can clear how to create the object how to create the classes so this is very simple i created a class and i create a object then i call the regular method so this is regular method and what is monkey patching so let's say i will create a new method so let's say display and here i will pass self so this is a method i'm creating just i'm writing something inside my display method so this is display method this is outside the class you can see your class block is this and i created this display method outside the class and you know python is dynamic programming language so just i will do one thing here so you have to concentrate here only this statement so what i am going to do so just using class name first dot printer is the method of this class and what i will do here just i will assign my display method and now just call using obj dot printer again so now i'm calling printer and uh, you can see here i'm passing hello so according to you what will the output so it will access the printer and it will print this message this is printer and your message is it's not an it's and okay and your message is hello but if i will run this program you can see the output okay there is a problem i'm passing here the argument so i have to create the method with same definition so you can see here it is accepting two arguments it can be message or any my where anything so there should be uh, at least two arguments so it should be matching so there is a matching method and just that method i have assigned at runtime and you can see if i will run this program this is display method there is a surprise right so you can see we are calling printer method and display method got execute so at runtime we can assign the other method to the class so this is called monkey patching so if we will say this is explanation of monkey patching so monkey patching is reopening the existing classes or methods in class at runtime so what i'm doing here you can see i'm reopening the method and i'm assigning the other method at runtime and you can see whenever i will call this method then my defined method will be execute so you can see here it should be used cautiously or you should use it only when you really need to so the drawback of this is we are changing our method at run time we should not do this if you really need to do this only that time you can use it 
so you know python is a dynamic programming language classes are mutable so you can reopen them and modify or even replace them so here you can see here i am modifying my printer or i am assigning other method to the printer so at runtime class are mutable always remember class are mutable so in this class this printer method i am assigning other method with the same definition and you can see whenever i will call the printer my display method got execute this is called monkey patching so in next video we will discuss about singleton thanks for watching